good morning from Cord Art, and today I want to try and make one of these roses. And you might think, well, why does he want to make one of those? Or well, make a video of one, making one of those. And the reason for that is uh, there are two or three uh, tutorials online, but they don't do the flower justice. Um, there's one quite similar to the one I'm going to make now, but it doesn't give any explanations and it doesn't give any lengths of cord. And as you can see, I've, laid, I've got all my cord laid out here. I'll be giving lengths, I'll be giving some idea how to go forward with each piece. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got a stem. Unlike the uh, other videos, this is a rigid stem. The others all flop over. Um, I haven't got extremely strong wire in there, it's just a little bit, just to bunker it up. It stands into the vase a lot better. Uh, we've got some binding around the bottom here, which keeps the leaves in place. You can see a stopper knot just in there, green one. And I've called this the bud. Um, now, I'm told that this configuration of different petals and things is a carrot bend and I don't disbelieve it. It doesn't actually say on any of the videos I've watched what it is but I think it's a carrot bend. Um, so that's a carrot bend with, with one pass. This is a carrot bend with four passes. There's one inside with three passes. The next one's two passes and right at the top the centre of the rose, another stopper knot. So that's what we want to try and achieve. Most of it is quite basic stuff. This is a bit awkward. You need a couple of fids for that. So just let's say what we're going to need. I'm not going to give all the um, sizes out as we before we start. So we're going to need a um, pair of scissors, pair of pliers. Um, a good range of fids, lighter, tape measure, uh, an audience, there's green stick there, and Deadpool, can't do anything with Deadpool, they've got no problems with social distancing, so we're fine, so let's get on. First of all, we want to make what I called the bud, yeah? And we're going to do a carrot bend for that. Um, you need a 15 inch piece of cord. I've made this green. Now with colour systems throughout this, um, you can do what you want. 15 inch piece of cord. Just let it droop down like so. Can we see that? Yeah, droop down like so. And then bring it over. You need this tail here. I'll see if I can come a bit closer. You need this tail here. And we've bent it over. Just gone round and bent it over. We're going to do the same again. We're going to hold that bit there quite tight. I'm right handed so I've held it with my left. We're going to come round again. Yeah. Come round again and we're going to go underneath the bottom of this tail. Now this is a little bit awkward because as it goes underneath I'm going to pinch all of them together like so. Now depending on what size of or how many passes you want through a carrot bend what determines um, you to be able to do that is the size of loop. Now I, the smallest I go down to is about an inch, which is about, from my thumb, outwards, both ways, an inch. So I've come underneath now, I've under, come, come back round there, underneath the tail. Now, because we've come underneath the tail, the next motion we do is going to be over the top of something. And we're going to go over the top of that left hand loop like so. We're going to come back up through the centre. Back, 
because we come under, we're going to go over, like so, yeah. Now that, as you think, oh, it's going to fall to bits, but because we've done that motion, it stays together and we can straighten it up a little bit. I always think that that looks like one of those old fashioned matte um, beaters that they used to have in things like Popeye and what have you. Sort of uh, olive bashing the, um, the, the uh, carpets with it, but that's just me. So we're quite, quite good there, that's good. See that little triangle there next to this one? We're going to come down through there, like so. And that is the knot complete. Now, now all we have to do is just tighten it up a little bit. Um, which way are we going to go? We can go either way. Let's tighten that way. Just a little bit at a time. Bring the slack through. Don't lose that tail. Keep that tail coming out of the project. Back down through this way. Now when we come to doing two or three passes, it's much more awkward, much more awkward tightening one up. I'm gonna come, bring the slack out through there. Bring the slack up through there, then bring it that way. So as you can see, we're getting closer. Let's uh, do that again. Take a little bit of slack. When we get tighter, you can see where you're going. Pull that out through there. I want this fairly tight, this one. Bring that one down, down through, and out. There's one I made earlier. Probably needs to be a little bit tighter than that. So we're going to use this one. I'll spend a bit of time on that one. Yeah. Now, if you missed any of that, I'm going to show that basically three times. The reason being is, as I say, the petals inside are bigger versions of this. Um, and I just need, well, I'll start showing you on each three of them because it's the size. You remember I said you need about an inch to be able to get this small one. But you need, need to sort of um, increase the length of the loop just slightly, not too much, you'll end up with a mess. So that's the first one. We put that over there, first part made. Second part is two passes. As I say, we're gonna do the same thing again. Now, the piece we used for that was, um, let me just check, that was 15 inches. We used 15 inches of cord for that one, yeah? When we go back, go on to the second pass, we need a piece double that size of 30 inches. Yep. So again, just let it loop down. Make sure you've got enough to keep that tail because it keeps its place. Now, that's just very slightly more than an inch. I'm happy with that. Hopefully I won't have to tighten it all up afterwards. So we're there, like so, just round Held, held with my thumb. I'm going to come round again, go underneath this tail, see if we can match it up in size with that one, which is looking good. We're coming underneath this tail. Now you might want to put a fit on these. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll do this next section um, so it all locks home. Then I'll put a fit on, I believe. Um, so, because we come under the tail, we're going to go 
over this one. Like so. We're going to come up through the center. Like so. And then back down through. Now that should have locked it home. I think that's rather clever, isn't it? Right, so we're there. Definitely with the two passes um, and more, you need a fid. I want a decent fid. Um, will that go on? Yeah, that's gone on. Right, so there we are. We've got our carpet beater. See the little triangle there? We're going to go through there and we're going to follow to the right of this tail end. And we're going to follow it through, follow it through. But as we go down through that hole, we make the fourth loop. So it's worth a bit of fiddling about first. So there, look, we come down through that loop and we got the fourth loop. If we was doing one pass, that's the knot complete. Just have to tighten it up. But we're going to follow. Now what I like to do is keep my fingers on the double. So we've gone under that one. I'm keeping it pressed on there. Up through that one. Reposition my thumb. It goes down underneath this one now. So we're going down underneath that one. Going round the back of this top arch, following this one to that side. Again, reposition my fingers. Now it's coming over this one, so it's got to come up. So we'll bring it up through. Reposition my fingers as we follow it through. I do understand that, you know, we started off with coming up to the right. As we twist it round, obviously it's going to be not always to the right. Sometimes it's going to be to the left. I mean, like there, we're to the left. But if we keep turning it round, if you see what I mean, we're going to go over this one, down through there. Follow our fingers round, keep it nice and gripped. We're going to come back up through the centre. We're going over two now. And then we're going to dive down through that little gap there. Don't want the twist in it. Now, we're going to follow this one around again, so can you see that I've just made room for it to go there. Still gripping it, back up through here. Reposition the finger and thumb, bring it round, it's coming over these two, going down, like this one's going down and under. So we're going to go down and under. And up through. We're going over two. Because this one's going over two. Down in that little bit there, yeah. Now this bit is a little bit awkward because you think, oh, what we're going to do with this tail? Just keep it out the way and we're, we're looking at this loop here. We're wanting to follow this loop here, yeah? And because it comes over these two, it's got to come up. Like so. It's going down over these two. Under two. And up through the centre. And then over two, 
down through there. Again, we want to bring it round nicely, keeping it in place. We come up. Now, you can see that we've got doubles all the way round. And we've got doubles there and we've got the tail just here. We want to finish this double off by going down through there because that will double this one up. You're not going to double, so we've got doubles everywhere. Now, again, I've made it a little bit slack. I wonder if I got you in shot for all that. I better check. I'll just have a look at that. I'll tighten this up and I'll come back to you. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, I just checked the footage. It's a little bit far away for my liking, so I've just repositioned the camera and I'm hoping that uh, second, well, the next part of this uh, video is a bit closer. Um, two things is we're just, um, as you can see, if I was honest with you, I've retied this one again because I that, the last one was too loose. So we remove the fid. Now when I cut up, cut this off a little bit prouder than what you normally cut to. Get that melted to a blobule. You don't want to set it on fire. It's just starting to melt. Squash it over onto the back. Yeah. Keep it where it is. Straighten it up a little bit. Yeah, straighten her up a little bit. We can bend it the other way now, no problem. Cut off a little bit proud, Keep like so. And we're gonna melt that one over. I didn't show you this on the uh, bud one, but uh, it's exactly the same. Try not to get too close to the um, actual petals. And as you can see, that's the smaller set of petals. This one will be going underneath it, like so. Yeah, this one will be going underneath it like that. Yeah. So that's two parts of this project done. Just a quick explanation about my rubbish bin. <clears throat> you can see that there's lots of those roses that we're making. And why are they all in the bin? Well, they've all faded. I've had them in my conservatory. And kept, that was a, a red. So that's another reason why I'm redoing this. And plus I made these about a year or so ago. And uh, I was quite pleased with them at the time, all different sorts of colors, but they've all faded. I'll probably reclaim, that's not a bad one. It's quite a nice one, pink one. Um, but yeah, I'll probably reclaim, oh, purple's quite nice as well. Um, reclaim the wire out of them, uh, but that's about all. Um, yeah, they were looking rather tatty. So I made them for my wife. There was 13 in that one, um, baker's dozen, but uh, I'm only making 12 on this one. So let's go on to the three. Um, we've done one pass, carrot bend, Two passes, carrot bend, yeah? Now, you might think, oh, he hasn't got all that, that one. He hasn't got that one as tight as he could. It doesn't really matter. The way that they're all put together takes up for any, you know, any imperfections. It's fine. That's good how that is. When you come to the proper flower, yeah, I've probably got some loose here and there, but... Uh, I think it adds to the effect, to be quite honest. So, right, we're going on to three passes. Now on a three pass, you need 50 inches of cord. Um, definitely a fid. Didn't like that last fid much. I think this one will be okay, will it be okay? Yeah, that's okay. So 
Well, I'll just show you. I'll start this one with you again. Same again. Bend down like so, yeah. But make sure that that tail is nice and long. With this 50 inches, that'd be enough. Now that's about an inch and a tad. About an inch and an eighth, inch and a sixteenth. That should be okay for three passes. Yeah. Right, so we've gone round the once or over the once. Round again and underneath this one. Are we seeing this? See if I can get a bit closer closer. Over that one, under that one, grab them all. Yeah. So there's that little beginning of that. We've come underneath this tail, around there like so. So the next thing is to go over, under, over, don't lose it, and then over and under, like so, yeah. Pull the slack through and make that third loop. Bring it around like so. So there we got the third loop there, all locked together. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, not going anywhere at all, that one. Keep going high with this, but uh, I'll see if I can control myself and keep it down low so you can see what's going on. Right, there's a little triangle again, down through there. Get our fourth loop, like so. I think by showing four of these, at least you'll get to get the gist of it. So we've gone through that little triangle there. Now we're gonna do the doubling up. Hold tight, follow it round through. I'll come back to you when I've gone round twice and we start off on our third trot around this Carrick Bend. Okay. Well, we're, we're here just coming back up to a similar position with the two pass one here. Um, so what we're gonna do here, we've gotta come back up, we've come all the way around for the second time. We need to bring that up through there Keep the bend going and we would finish on a double down through there. We're going to keep, we're going to go down through there, but we're going to keep going rather than sort of cutting the end off here. We're going to come back up and follow the second one round now, which isn't amazing, but uh, that's what we do. Deal with all the twist. We hope. It's a swine if you get on in the project and realise you've got a loop somewhere because you didn't get the twist out. So we've come up. We're now going to go down through there. Follow this these two around. So we're going to go down and under. This one is a little bit tighter than I'd like it. But there you can see the three coming round. Up through. Still using your thumbs and fingers to keep at them in position. Coming round, we're going to go down and underneath these two now. And we're going to do that by going down through there. under these two, up through to the centre, so you can appreciate making the next one which is four passes, it's just a matter of getting the first few loops to the right size. Now I can feel, I mean I've just made loads of these, 
you'll see at the end of the project how many I've actually made. But um, I can tell that this is a bit tight, this one. Now that's okay, it doesn't really matter. It's a middle one. Um, it'll be seated between these, yeah. Um, and as I say, you can get away with Blue Murder, to be quite honest, with this one. I've just gone long now, being so snazzy. I'll go back up through there, because I've gone the wrong way. We need to come round there. We've got our three coming round there. I went in through that hole. We need to go down through here. So I was a mile off. Don't be tempted to pull the doubled cord through because it'll just make it a mess. So we come around three here, underneath these two, up through the centre. Still got a ways to go yet. And you see that these are still two, that's still two. When we push it down through there, it pushes the cords over that way and fills a bit of a gap. Once you get to know this knot, it's quite good. I, li I like tying it. I do like tying it. Again, watch out for that uh, tail. We need the tail out of the way because we're interested in these two. We're coming around for a third time. Up through there. Back down through that one. As I say, I'm getting a bit tight now. Should have made those loops just a fraction bigger. through the centre, under those three, nearly finished now. Down through there, difficult to see, down through there, round the last, is it the last bend? I think so, the last bend, bring that third one in line with the other two. Bring it up through. And then we finish off with going down beside the, well, near the towel. There's a towel, one, one, two, down in a little, catching a cord. There you go, down in there. Now you can see how tight I've made it because I've still got all this cord. Fair enough, the cords that I'm using are longer than what I give you because I don't want to be embarrassed by running out of cord. So only, if, you know, a bit. But that doesn't look too bad. That looks quite nice. That will go inside of there like so. Yeah. Let's just finish this one off then. We can uh, cut that off. Give that a nice melting. Just fold that over. Double it inside out again. Do the same with this one. This one could be slightly bigger and this one could be slightly smaller but it will suffice it will look good in the end put that over there right we're going to go for the go for the four now 
Um, four passes is 65 inches, I'd say 70. Uh, the fourth, on a couple of the fourth ones I've made recently, I ran out of cord by about a, an inch or so. Uh, wasn't happy about that. Um, so I've got well enough cord here. Now, as I say, you need at least 70 inches. I've probably got about 80 inches here. Put a fit, fit on it. I'll start this one again with you, just showing you the first four loops. So there we go. Flop it down, make that loop. I'm going to have that one about an inch and a quarter. Grab it with the left hand. The weight of the cord is being a bit awkward here. Get it on your lap, Michael. Come down to that crossover point again, around and down to that crossover point. Underneath that tail, like so. I'll pull in a little bit there, because that one's bigger. It's not bad. So we've come underneath the tail underneath this tail. Is that going to be big enough? We'll find out. So underneath the tail, over, under, over and under. Hope you can see that. So we've gone over, under, over, under. Bring it all through. our third loop and lock it home yeah very difficult to say how big the loop should be um, I suppose it's all down to experience um, and as you can see I haven't got much of that um, gonna go down through that triangle yeah and then we're gonna follow this one and do exactly what this one does. So it goes under, over, under, round here, under, over, under, round here, over, under, over, over, under, over, under, and back down to the cord. So, as I say, through that little triangle. I'm not going to show you much of this one. I'll come back to you after we've got our fourth loop. So that's about a little bit more, about there. Grab hold of the doubles. And as I say, Just follow around that one, the same same side of it, all the way around until you get two. Carry on, so you get three, and then carry on, so you got four. Hence the uh, 70 inches of cord. Now I'm going to have a go at that offline because I have to concentrate, and I'll come back to you just after that then. Okay. Welcome back. There's the uh, one with four passes on it. It's not come up too badly. There's the three, which will go in there. The two. And the bud that will sit underneath. So how do we um, go about uh, connecting them all together? Let's have a look at that. Now we need a piece of white cord. And I believe that that is 20 inches. We're going to do a stop knot. So around the centre of the centre finger. Grab hold of the bottom one. Round the thumb. Grab hold it like that. Place it onto the vertical one. Bring a bit of slack up through that loop. Like so. 
So we're going to bring this one around here and through there, like so. That'll give us our diamond. I hope we can see there. Where's our diamond there? This one's going to go around the base, the bit that you had your finger through, around there, back up through there. Again the other way, around the base and up through. Just gently tease it together, roll it. There you go, it doesn't have to be all that tight. Now what we want to do is get rid of one of these. So what we'll do is we'll pull up through, which should be that one. We'll pull it to the base of the knot. We won't pull it through. Bring that slack down through like so. Still won't pull too tight at the moment. I don't want to pull that end right through. Follow on through. Now we can put a bit of pressure on it. Through again. Tight. Bring this one up through there. So we've got, as you can see, a stop knot with a big loop. Well, we've just brought that one up through this side. We're going to follow it on through. Now through the knot again. Take that loop right down to the bottom of the or the top of the knot. Won't pull too hard, not just yet. Follow through with that loop. We can start to tighten a bit more now. Down, tight, and nice and tight. Now we've got a nice little bead for our um, centre of the flower, which will keep it all together. Now that only wants to be about, let's think, 10 inches long. Um, let's measure that. the 10 inches. I cut it off at 10. Now what we do need is a piece of wire which is 9 inches long with a bend on it. Tiny little bend. Now that looks a bit better. There's the piece of what, nine inch wire with the loop in it. And we're gonna pass that down through the stem. We're gonna grab hold of the few inner cores at the top, pass the doubled end down through. Don't let go of those, or else it will get messed up inside. Just push that down through. There should be an inch to spare inside because the uh, the white is 10 inches and the wire is 9 inches. That's about right. So we've got that inch there. We're going to uh, finish that end off so that we can put a fit on it. fit on it at the moment. Uh, not that one. Let's put this fit on there. Like so. Yeah. So we've got the uh, 10 inch piece of cord, or just about 10 inches, on a fit with a stop on it on the top. We're then going to get a 10 inch piece of 
got a green. So singe that over. We're not going to bend that. We're just going to singe that over like that. We're going to slip our fid up through the part that we just warmed up. And work it onto the stem. Yeah. So we've ended up with a, a green stem and a white bud in the middle there. Take the fit off, and just trim that again, heat, so we can hopefully get a fit back on it. so and we'll just leave that for one moment just there uh, no we'll load the flower up first I think so we'll start off with the um, two past carrot knot that can go down on then the three Fourth, and then the green bud. Pop that all home, and then it's starting to look something like a rose. So, what have we got to do next? We've got to have um, um, let's think a fifteen-inch piece of cord green cord, we need a fit on one end, we'll come back to that in a second. Something we've got to do before we can go to that stage is make a leaf, i.e. one of these. Quite easy to make, there's a four inch piece of wire inside. Uh, which I've cut already. Again, with this one we've just doubled over the top. And then we've got four inches in total length. Yeah. So we've got three feet of light green cord. One end ready for a fid. The other end still open. Just take those cords up slightly. The inner ones. So we can get our four inch piece of wire down into the hole like so trim off now what I want to try and do is get a 45 degree angle on this uh, cord here so I'm going to mm, I'm not sure about this lighter Oh, here we go. I just want to sort of heat up to one side so it goes to a 45 degree angle. Don't know, yeah, that's better. You can see that now. Yeah, there's a reason for that. We've got our four inches of wire in there. Now we're going to put a fid on the end of that. Um, decent fit. Be that one. So a fit on there. Come back to the end that's got the wire. Four inches. Bend it in the middle. Sorry, I'll start again. 
want to bend it towards the highest point on that 45 degree angle. So we bend it that way, coming round like so. so that we can make our leaf shape, yeah? Now I am gonna use a little touch of super glue just to keep my place here. I'm going to dab a bit on that 45 degree angle. Bring that end round like so. You can see it's stuck to my finger at the moment. we've got our nice little leaf shape there. We're going to come round over that angle and back to the other side here. Because that's all to do with this bottom one, we're going to go through and up. Twirl it round the wire and each time we go across these, this leaf we're going to go through the centre. So through there and this is actually called a leaf knot. Round the bottom one, back through. Like so. Now we're going to go round this side, to the top, down through. I, we don't want to double over. Um, yeah, my fids drop down through the wrong side of that cord. So through, back round this way, top, through, bottom, through. Now we're, we're actually, that is the top of the leaf. So we just give that a little tug there, to bring them into line, about halfway through. Don't want to pull too much on these because you'll just bend the wire and it won't look like a leaf. Okay. Just zigzagging backwards and forwards around the piece of wire that we put in the end. And the idea is you get as many as the these in, these loops in. That fills the whole thing up. Just give that a little bit of a tug down there so we might get one or two more in. Hope this is all staying on shot. I think I can probably get one more. Yeah, one more in there. Could probably force another one but I don't want to. So then we end up with a leaf. To finish this off, we'll take the fit off. We're going to cut it about four or five inches down. And then we're going to grab the inner cords Pull the outer sheaf right down, cut off the inner cords, and we're going to make it so that we can get a fid on here. I'm going to 
put a fid on the one that I've already made. Hopefully, hopefully that fits okay. So, we got four fids going on at the moment. One on a 15 inch piece of cord, which we're gonna use for the um, wrapping. And one on each leaf, like so. And one on the end of the flower. Hey, I've just realized that you can actually see all the flowers that I've made. Um, yeah, I've had a bit of a, a nightmare really with doing this video. I got so far and realized that I wasn't videoing and then I'd com more or less completed the flower. So I've had to backtrack a little bit to the point where I last left you. So that's why we're to this position at the moment. But it's okay, it's all going okay. Right, the only thing that I haven't said that we need is a paintbrush. Well, it doesn't have to be a paintbrush, but it needs to be something that goes down more slender. And I thought I'd use this. So we get our 15 inch piece of cord. I've got mine facing the thicker end. Yeah. We're going to hold it there, go round five times, doubling it over like so. That's four, five, and I'll bring it up one more time. If you then just slide it to the slimmer end, and hopefully we can get the fit underneath those. There you go. And we'll take that fit off of there. That's fine. We'll take it off the paintbrush. Feed it through, feed the stem through now. So that was the dodgy bit, but uh, we're okay with that. We're then going to get uh, each leaf and from the top to the bottom, we're gonna slide one of these in each side. One to the right, one to the left, yeah? Doesn't matter where really, but uh, just opposite each other. That's one, let that just drop down. There's the second one, like so. Once we got to that stage, we're gonna tighten this thread up and we're gonna do that by just pulling gently and rolling. Yeah. Bit more. Bit more. Before we go fully tight, well, we can take these fids off now. All three of these can come off. And there you go, where we're, we've ended up like such. So what I wanna do is actually now pull these leaves into position, yeah, like so. Once we've got the binding as tight as we want, I have now, we can snip that top one off. And I don't do anything with that, I just leave it as it is. Um, what's next? We'll take it up to about halfway, to about there. We bend the stem right out of the way. Then cut off those three. Three tails. And we're going to heat them up. We don't want it sticking to the stem. So we're going to heat up from the outside and just bend them so that they stick to the bottom of the knot. Bend back up again. 
bring the whole thing down to the flower. Position the leaves where you want them. Now you could just leave it like that now. Yeah, you could just leave it like that. But I'm a bit of a super glue fanatic. So I'm just going to keep my leaves where I want them. Like so. So as I say, I um, copped up with, uh, excuse my language, copped up with the uh, filming, got to a point, realised that I wasn't filming, had to make a 13th one. So I've got a baker's dozen. He can go in there. And there we go. That one seems to be a little bit uh, all over the place. But I'll get them where I want them too before I start taking my, the photographs I think it's rather good it looks quite good hmm. what do you reckon yeah that's fine that's good yep thumbs up for that one thanks for bearing with me there's quite a lot to this one but uh, hopefully You've got the gist of how to do that carrot knot to achieve making a rose. All the best. Bye bye. Well, this is what they're supposed to look like. I do realise now after editing the video that uh, the last bit's upside down. And I do apologise for that. I don't know what went wrong. But uh, yeah, I think this looks really sweet. Have a good day. Bye bye.